Welcome back. Time now is 6.52, and we are in the KQ2 kitchen with Craig. He's cooking up something good. I would say it's going to be good, but I actually already had some. So <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was too good to resist. What have we got here? Are you the kind of person that opens presents on Christmas Eve? Too? I uh, will not confirm or deny um, <laughs> if I do or don't. But the focus now is New Year's. That's today. right. New Year's. So um, New Year's tradition. Everybody's got their own New Year's traditions. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Kind of a <laughs> common theme is the black eyed peas. Some people do sauerkraut and black eyed peas. Mm -hmm. Some people just have the black eyed peas. So. Um, Personally, I, for years, I wasn't a big fan of black-eyed peas just in a just pot. Just by themselves. By yeah. themselves. So um, yeah. over the years, I've found different ways to apply them and different recipes. And today is one of those. So uh, what we were making today is essentially a hummus out of black-eyed peas. I do love hummus. Yum. Hummus is delicious. So and, and it fits <laughs> well with the New Year's tradition. So this is something you can serve black-eyed peas to, uh, you know, your New Year's party. And yeah. the center for dips and all that stuff. So a good appetizer. Exactly. Great appetizer. Mm. Um, essentially, what we have is um, some black eyed peas. I made mine from um, the, the raw bean. That this time of the year, you'll be able to start finding them in cans. Okay. So you Perfect. certainly can use the cans. And ones. that's good for people who, you know, maybe they're not great at cooking or they're a little lazy. They can just kind of well, take it, it out of the can and, and be done with it. And they're beans, so they do take some time. Even okay. with a, a pressure cooker, they take a, uh, an hour or two, mm -hmm. and, and you definitely got to soak those overnight to get them to where they need to be to cook right. So. Um, definitely takes a little bit of prep time. The cooking time takes a little bit of long time too mm -hmm. if you're going to do it standard. But um, essentially, you, you put your your black eyed peas, drain them, put them into a, a blender. I'm using a, like a NutriBullet thing here today, um, and then I have some garlic, some cilantro, some curry powder, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and we'll just blend that up. You can omit, add to whatever you want to that. You can make it a Mexican style with some uh, cumin and Ooh. chili peppers, whatnot. So. All right. Well, this is smelling and looking pretty good. I tried the first batch, but we're gonna make a second batch here. So we're gonna get that blended up. But right now, I'm gonna send you over to our live.